Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. We're going to solve uh, question, um, practice problems on Newton's uh, first uh, law. Uh, just before we solve the questions, let's recap what is a Newton first law. Newton first law says if you have an object, the object is at rest, it will remain at rest. If the object is moving with constant velocity, it will continue move with the same velocity unless there is external force on that object that will make this object stop or a change it is uh, direction or it is uh, speed. If I want to write a Newton first law, mathematically we can write it as if net all the forces acting on the object equals zero or summation of the forces acting on the object equals zero. So I have two cases to apply Newton first law. How can I know the question is related to Newton first law? It will tell me either in the question, the object is at rest, is not moving. That means its velocity equals zero, acceleration equals zero. Or it will say that in the question, the object is moving with the same speed, with constant speed. It has a velocity, but all the time its velocity doesn't change. It, if, it, if I have a car is moving with, uh, for example, 70 km per hour, it will continue moving with this velocity. Still, it is acceleration equals zero. So let's solve the first question. And these problems, we've already did them in the, in the class. In general, any questions related to Newton's law? Before we, we, we do the questions, we have to, to read the question well, write and check the units. All the units has to be consistent. What do I mean by consistent? All of them, if I'm using SI units, so all the units should be in SI units. If it's not, I have to convert. Uh, draw a free body diagram. We have to determine if the object is moving, determine the direction of motion. It means the direction of the acceleration. When we draw the, the forces, always the forces that are in the direction of motion are positive, while the forces opposite to the direction of motion, they're negative. I have to specify X and Y. If I have more than forces, I have to specify in which direction these forces, horizontal direction, it's X direction, or in vertical direction, Y direction. At the end, we apply Newton first or second law. Let's st start with the first question. So here I have an elevator. The elevator, it has a mass of 200 kilogram. It travels upwards. So the elevator, I'm going to draw free by the diagram. I have an elevator, I'm going to draw a box and the elevator is moving upward. The elevator has a mass 200 kilograms. So the first force down is the force of the gravity or the weight. So I have Fg and this force, I can, I can find it from mass times free fall acceleration. Free fall acceleration for, for simplicity, I'm gonna use 10. If, it's, if it doesn't give it to me in the question, if it um, or 9.8, so it will be 200 times 10, 2000 in Newton. At constant velocity, you see this word constant velocity, that it means in Newton first law. That means all the net, all the forces acting on the object should equal zero. I don't have acceleration. What is the tension in the cable? I have here this uh, elevator, there is, there is a cable and I need to find the tension of this cable. If net or summation of forces equal zero, that means I have equilibrium. Equilibrium, all the forces up should equal to the forces down. All the forces up, I have a tension force will equal Fg down, which equals to 2000 in Newton. So the tension force is 2000 in Newton. Okay, second question, I have a child. The child has a mass, 35 kilogram, sits on the swing as shown. What is the tension in each rope? Free by the diagram. I have, the ch I have a child, child has a mass 35, so I have the weight of the child down from always from the center or the middle, draw the forces. So I have Fg, the weight, mass, times free fall acceleration. 
free fall acceleration for simplicity 10. So 35 times 10, 350 Newton. I have ropes, that means we have tension. I have tension force here and here. So I have two tension force up. These forces are in at equilibrium. Equilibrium, I have no motion. All the forces up should equal, so the force is down. So summation of all these forces equals zero, or if net equals zero. I have two forces up. Two, two tension force up should equal to Fg down, and Fg equals what? 350. So 2Ft equals 350. Divide both sides by 2. And 350 divided by 2, so the tension force should equal 175 in Newton. OK. <clears throat> you have a car travels along uh, a road at constant velocity. Constant velocity, the same thing. If net should equal zero or summation of forces equal zero. The force of friction that push the car forward, so I have a force of the friction forward is 1000 in Newton. What is the force of the air of the resistance? Any force that is related to friction or resistance force is opposite to the direction of motion. Here is the direction of motion. Opposite to the direction of motion, it will be the resistance force, F R or F air. I'm going to call it F air. So F air should equal 1000 in Newton. Last question, I have 24 kilogram crate initially at rest. It's a Newton first law, it's not moving. On a horizontal floor, so I have, here is the crate, I'm, this is my object, 25 kilo, that means it's weight down Fg, 24, uh, 24, 24 times 10, 240 Newton on horizontal floor requires 75 Newton horizontal force to set it in motion. So from the middle, I'm going to draw the other force. It's a horizontal applied force. This is F applied 75 Newton to set it in motion. Find the coefficient of static friction. That means Friction always opposite to the direction of motion. If the direction of motion in this direction, the object still is not moving, it's about to move. Friction force, it will be F in S, F S it's static friction in the opposite direction. What are the other forces I have? I have a normal force because here I have a surface. So the surface will push up with a force upward, this force is balanced and equal to Fg. So here I have forces, I have forces in x direction and I have forces in y direction. I have x and y. So it's better to draw x and y since I have forces. Since the object is not moving, F net in both cases equals zero. So F net in both cases equals zero. That means Fn in y direction should equal Fg, both of them equals 240 Newton. This is y direction. X direction, I have Fs should equal F applied, and that equals 75. F, so Fs, I know the friction force is the coefficient of static friction times the normal force, and that equals 75. Normal force is 200. Normal force is 240 equals 75. I need the coefficient of static friction, so divide by 240 by 240, and that will give us the static friction 75 divided by 240. And that equals to 0 0.30, it doesn't have unit. OK, uh, that's it. In the next video, we will uh, solve questions related to Newton's second uh, law. And this will be the end of unit one, forces and motion.